How's it going everyone? My name is JJ and in this Pokemon guide I'm going to be showing you where to find the two strongest trainers on Pokemon Black and White. So the first strongest trainer we can find in Pokemon Black and White is Cynthia, the champion of Sinnoh. If you go to Undella Town and then go from the Pokemon Center towards the left hand side and go inside the first house, Cynthia will be in there. This is like her holiday home as you'll need to make sure the weather, the time of the year is set to spring. If it's winter, autumn or fall, then uh, or summer sorry, it, she won't be here. However, if it's spring, Cynthia will be in there and then she'll want to battle. So, go for a bit of dialogue, you'll go ahead and then trigger this battle. Now, her team is obviously very strong, she is the champion of Sinnoh. She's going to start off with, with this Spirit Tomb, that is level 75, and that's as weak as it gets. You've got your Spirit Tomb level 75, you've got Electros level 75, Lucario level 75, Bravery level 75, you've got Milotic level 75, and finally Garchomp level 77, who is her signature Pokemon. Once you've defeated all of her Pokemon, obviously you've won the battle. You can rebattle her once a day, providing it's still spring. So if you want to make life even easier and you want to kind of spam battle her, you can go ahead and change the date on your DS or your computer to the next day and then keep rebattling her over and over until you're done with it. Our next strongest trainer is Morimoto, who is a Game Freak developer who helped make the game. It's in Castelia City from the Pokemon Center. You're going to go towards the right and then go up this road. Then on the right hand side, you're going to see this building, which is kind of flashing. This is a Game Freak building. If you go ahead and go inside of the uh, of the elevator and then go up to the only floor that's possible, which is level 22, you can then go inside and then head downwards. You're going to see a load of people chatting. If you chat to this guy in the green top, this is Morimoto, he'll then want to battle. So if you go ahead and battle him, his team will consist of a Leopard, which is level 75, a Zeb Striker, that's level 77, a Simi Sage, level 75, a Simi Poor, level 75, Simi Seer, level 75, and finally Swoobat, level 75. Now clearly the calibre of Pokemon isn't as strong as Cynthia, however level 75 Pokemon for single player games is very difficult, making Moimoto a strong trainer indeed. Now on top of this, similarly with Cynthia, you can do this battle once a day, this however isn't required a certain time of year, this is 365 days a year you can battle Moimoto. So if you change the date or time on your DS or your computer, you can do this unlimited times in one day. So you can keep battling them until you're kind of done with it. And with both of these battles, that being Cynthia and Moimoto, you can only do these battles once you've defeated the game. However, I feel that's pretty self-explanatory, seeing as their Pokemon are literally level 75 and 77. Nevertheless, that is where to find the two strongest trainers on Pokemon Black and White. If you're new around here, then I make simple Pokemon guides for all different Pokemon games, so be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll catch you next time for another video. Bye.